And that's the whole room. <laughs> oh, there's like little slots in the wall. It's the bathroom. Ooh, look at this thing. She's a vibe. Oh, there's a shower. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, there's a little bathroom. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, that's cool. 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 Oh, look at this Good evening. Screw this game. Welcome back to the vlog. We are currently in New York City. We just got in. We rode the train from Boston to New York. Just got the train, dropped our bags. We're staying at the Maid Hotel, which is between the Flatiron and the Empire State Building. It's a new hotel for us. We haven't stayed here before, but we are going to be spending the next couple of days here just relaxing honestly and just enjoying the city we've never been here i don't think ever before not for work so this is the first time that we've ever come here with literally no agenda and we're gonna go grab some dinner quick outfit change abercrombie sweater maple tank little lemon two liter bag abercrombie trousers LA snakes And got ready for bed. I'm gonna read my book. I finally got the It Ends With Us book. I've been trying to rent this dang book for like the last year it feels like and every time that I would go to get it from the Libby app it would be like your book will be available in three months. And I'm like okay well I'm never gonna read that but I finally got it. So I've been reading it on this trip a little bit but um, we went to this place called Skirt Steak, which j -Waz found during our train ride to New York. It's literally a super pared down menu. So it's basically like steak and then it's like steak unlimited fries and then you get a salad and free bread. And we absolutely took advantage of this unlimited fries. It was pretty good. I think it was like $45 a person, but you got unlimited fries. So definitely very, very full, very tired. We got chamomile tea from the lobby of our hotel and we're gonna try to get some rest because we want to have like a full day tomorrow. It was very sleepy, very full of free fries. Not really free fries, but unlimited fries. <laughs> yeah, fries that we Every paid. moment though, literally they would like peek their head around the corner and go, more fries? More fries? <laughs> we were like, no, Yo, please big, stop. Big summer fly, fry bur, blow up. That's hard to say. Big, Big summer, summer fry, fry blowout. Big summer fly blowout. <laughs> you need to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day. Jay Waz and I are at Black Sea Bagel, which is really close to our hotel. Apparently, they have the best bagels in New York, but I think every bagel place has claimed that they have the best bagels in New York. But, uh, we're here for breakfast and then we're gonna literally just spend the entire day out. We just finished up breakfast. It was so good. I got an everything bagel with hot honey. Now we are walking to Soho. We just passed. Well, I guess we're actually right in front of the Flatiron building right now. There she is. She's under construction. But she's still beautiful. Just stopped at Blue Bottle. They just do it right. They just do it right. So good, so consistent. No, no coffee cup sleeves for us, so our hands are currently roasting. <laughs> Do a little bit of window shopping. 
Jaywaz saw a Filson on the way, so I might have to stop by there on the way back to our hotel. The weather here is literally so nice. I think this past week it was like in the 90s, but today it's 82 high. Right now it's like 70, 75 degrees. It's so perfect out. place that our friend Jim recommended. Jaywaz got the cardamom sticky bun, which literally made him cry. Perfect. I got this rye heart with, I think it's praline and I think there's like oats and stuff, but it's delicious. I got a matcha, iced coffee, and the vibes here are immaculate. So beautiful. best coffee shop that we have ever been to. I got the matcha and it was one of the best matchas I've ever had. And then Jaywas got a pour over over ice and I tried his and it was so, so good. Honestly, we do not have anything to that scale in Nashville, which I thought we had a really good coffee scene, but I feel like that was just like next level. It was like St. Frank in San Francisco. Good. So incredible. Now we are on our way to the Glossier store. on earth. How cute these are. All the white storage containers. Every time I come here I want to get their cups and glasses because they're so pretty and like delicate. Their mugs are gorgeous but I never want to pack them because they're glass. All their home stuff is so precious. They even have placemats. Everything is just so neutral. Hand mop? <laughs> what did you find? Cardigans. Oh, it's like or the super soft. It's actually a lot softer. I thought it was gonna be more like a canvas. It's pretty dope. Alright, we're not that Bubby's for lunch. Looks so good. We 
are now over in the Chelsea area. We're walking along the High Line. We just walked Hudson River. And I think we're gonna try to stop at a couple more places before we go back to the hotel to just rest a little bit. We've been literally walking all day, but the weather's been really, really nice. And honestly, it hasn't been too busy. We're here on a Thursday, which is ideal because I feel like everywhere we've gone, it's been pretty empty, which has been so nice. Jay Waz wanted to stop by Rivian. Oh, the interior color is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This is awesome looking, oh my gosh. I've never seen one of these, like up close. These look so cool. I don't think I've ever seen one up close. Yeah, no, I've never seen one. the handle on this thing. First impressions? It feels good actually. Love her wood. I mean it's it definitely cool. like very open and eco. It's full electric, right? Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Oh wow. <laughs> this has been the most challenging experience trying to find this place. And This location has an entire like, warehouse attached to it. So as you're walking in, you're going to see every single bag with the shoes and everything they have lined up. Like, like 10,000 plus bags. You what? Like 10,000 plus bags. Like insane. Like my mom was just like walking through here. And then they give you an iPad and you can literally just find anything on the website that's located here at the New York store and they'll pull it for you. So I'm not trying to buy anything, but Dangerous. I just think it's like it's just such a crazy experience. I've never I've never experienced anything like this. All the beige ones right there. decided to Uber back to the hotel because our legs were crying and the hotel that we're staying at has a little wine tasting hour so Jay was got his wine said generous pour and we're like in this little rooftop I wouldn't say garden but it's kind of a vibe we're just trying to navigate the subway right now <laughs> we're about to take I guess Jay to uptown to go to a ramen place and we did a little pit stop from our hotel here to grab a little Muji jacket. It's cute. Yeah, it's like, why, why would you describe this material? It's like a flannel, lightweight flannel. It's kind of like my purple shirt on this one, yeah. which is an purple for you guys, but this one. <laughs> yeah, it's good though. So we stopped to grab that for him. Now we're getting back on the subway to go to dinner. I believe is what it's, how it's pronounced, but it's a place that my friend Anna from Nashville recommended and her husband is the chef at one of our favorite ramen places in Nashville. And so I asked on Instagram like where should we go? She said this place is her husband's favorite place in New York. So far, pork buns, incredible. We got the oil gyoza and then we got two bowls of ramen coming. We got the new Tokyo shoyu ramen with like a truffle broth. It was the number one it seller amazing. and it smells so good. This broth is actually insane. It's so good. <laughs> left the jazz club smalls and it was so good that was like jason's only request for all of new york was to go to live jazz and 
it was so high level jazz that like the first song i'm not kidding you i was like are we being played right now like are they even playing music it was just so everybody was playing like a different rhythm it sounded like everybody was playing in like a different key it was so above me like it was so beyond me that i just like couldn't catch on to anything like i couldn't grab a melody but then after the first song it ended up being like really really good so the first song was good it was nice, just you know when something's a little bit too fine art that you're like i cannot grab onto this that's how i felt but then after that the rest of the show was amazing jay was how would you awesome. rate that especially the slow stuff i love plays chill that dude could play the front guy yeah. could play literally everything he, he played crazy. the trumpet the sax and then we didn't know what that mini it was like a little saxophone yeah. i don't know what it's called yeah. but yeah super talented i think jay was literally just like found it on Google. He was uh, like, no, Rachel sent it to me. Oh, Rachel did? Mm -hmm. So his sister just sent that to him. And it ended up being really, really good. So I'm glad we got to do that. And now we're walking back to our hotel. So what do you guys think of Mr. <laughs> oh yeah, what do you guys think of Jason's new? I got this flannel cardigan from Muji. Looks good. I think it's kind of flare. Yeah. First card, BB's first cardigan. It's not really like a sweater cardigan though. It's just like, like a flannel cardigan. Yeah. Still counts though. Good morning guys. It's the next day, our last day. And we are up. We are out and we are on our way to Jason's favorite place in New York, La Cabra, which is the coffee shop that we went to yesterday. That was the first thing he said when he woke up this morning. He was like, can we go back? We have to go back. So we're about to get on the subway to go back down to Soho. And then I think we're doing this, not the sky deck, what's it called? The edge in Hudson, Hudson Yards, Yard. like an overlook view thing. So we can try to get some cool pictures. I really want to take some photos and blow them up for our house because I've never like framed photos that I've taken before so I thought that would be really fun since I got camera so that's what we're doing today we also might go to the Met tried to go last year but we didn't make it over there before it closed so we're gonna try to go today this time chocolate croissant duh cardamom bun duh Jason's dreams coming true duh <laughs> Location, same same restaurant. We're sitting outside, we're watching everybody walk by. Great people watching. Looks amazing. It's like green tomato. to do this thing called the edge you like walk out there and you see New York we probably won't look as cool as these people but the hype video is pretty in insane okay you can drink on the edge you can lay down oh, that's terrifying <laughs> crazy line on a Friday afternoon for the edge <laughs> I'm excited about you should be this is exciting Ooh. it's a little show Oh my gosh. You do get a free digital photo though, and we're so excited for it. This is insane. It's Disney. like the Tower of Terror. That's what we're paying for. It does feel like Disney World a little bit. The whole thing up here. This is why you can spend an hour up here. There's a gift shop. Wow, oh my gosh. I thought they were gonna literally just drop us on a roof and then be like, well, you're stranded here for an hour. <laughs> no, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
Look at tiny little draft beer truck. Oh wow, pretty. <laughs> How would you rate your edge experience? Uh, so far, it's... <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sounds like someone, someone's just freaking out sitting on the glass. So far, I would say uh, experience eight out of ten. Value five out of ten. Crowdedness five seven out of ten. Not that bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, getting a photo in that corner though was really hard. Yeah, that's that's the corner. Um, it's like a hundred people. But, but it's beautiful, and I'm super glad it's not very kind of cold. It is cold. It's pretty cold. I'm probably ready to. We need to go back inside to the gift shop. Back <laughs> just left the Met and our feet are crying. Oh my gosh, we literally got like lost. <laughs> so many times it was the most confusing museum I've ever been in. It's just so big, like there's so many different exhibits and they all kind of connect, but then there are actually a lot of exhibits that were under construction. So they had like a lot of the routes that you would normally take to get something else blocked off. So we had to like weave in and out, but we saw Van Gogh's Starry Night. I like the real thing. So that was amazing. And that was, uh, I think, like an, a, a temporary exhibit that they've had. So it was cool to be here while they have that. We had to wait in line, it took 70 minutes, like a virtual line, not actually just like wait in line, but it was something that we signed up for right when we got to the museum. And I'm glad we did. It felt very iconic to see that. And then a lot of European paintings, classical paintings. A lot of butts. A lot of butts, a lot of sculptures, a lot of Roman marble statues, a lot of Egyptian art. Lots of like the entire right side of the net was Egyptian art. Definitely could spend, you could spend like an entire day there, but we were, this Jenny Kane. Oh. But we, um. Uh, it's going, then. Anyway, we had to get out of there because our feet were crying. Journey. Look at these linen. Linen bucket hat. It's my clocks. grabbing lunch at a place called Serafina, which was a walking distance from the Met. Stop by Ralph's to grab some coffee. Such a Culturally cute place. always holding Chloe's coffee. <laughs> Jay Waz, tell them what you said is your whole life. Did I say as well? You said holding my drinks until I inevitably throw them away. <laughs> oh, dude. True. That is literally... We were on our way to the best coffee shop in New York and Chloe brought the coffee that we got from, from the, the hotel, hotel for, for free. free. And she didn't drink any of it, but that is not she true. I took drank it, it all on... the way through the subway. It took like no, one I step. drank it on the subway. I was like, we're literally, we're literally going to get a great coffee. No, I drank it on the subway. See, the thing is, is I'm a slow drinker. I drink my coffee. It takes me the entire day to drink a coffee. Whereas Jay Watts can drink a coffee in like 10 minutes. I need at least four hours to drink a coffee. And sometimes I still don't finish it. I don't know, I'm a sipper. I heat my I heat my coffee up maybe like nine times a day. But anyway, Jay Wes always has to hold my coffee though because I gotta I gotta get my vlog camera out. Take your coffee back, you're burning my hand. <laughs> We've got our coffees, watching the people row through Central Park, listening to a guy sing. How beautiful. There's like four different performers right now. We've got these people, we've got a person doing a photo shoot down here. We've got another guy on the other side of the river also singing. This is so chaotic. There's so much going on. decided to humor me, go to Times Square. Even though we said on this trip we weren't gonna go. She was begging me. I begged him, please. I don't know, you just gotta, you gotta see it every time you come here. It's just, it's a, 
It's one of the wonders. We made it. Our last hoorah in the city. We switched into our comfy clothes and <laughs> decided to grab some pizza in Chelsea. We're going to be by the pier at night and just kind of walking around. We wanted to grab some late night pizza Look and some this. tiramisu. It's like a three different kind. This one's not white sauce. It's like garlic, butter, or garlic and oil probably. And then mozzarella. It tastes like cheesy bread. Really good. Wow. I'm excited for this. I think it's actually really salty. It really tastes like garlic bread. 